right, and there we go. That's a little bit of the music going on there. And we got a whole bunch of other stuff happening on the Scott Show. Making it happen. That's a background noise. Let me fix that. All right, so we just... All right, we fixed the background noise. All right, that's awesome. And now we got a little bit more because I'm echoing. Awesome. Echo Live, this is what happens, folks. All right, so I did want to give you guys the little details of what's going on in Alabama. We had... uh, This echo is going to drive me nuts. All right, well, anyway, we did have a Senate election happen today. And Roy Moore has won the Senate election 57.1% to 42.9. 117,000 people voted for Roy Moore to go on and get to the next um, round against Doug Jones, which will happen in December. That will be very exciting. Uh, Luther Strange, who is the current uh, incumbent, lost and uh, lost pretty heavy. He only picked up Birmingham and one of the counties in northern Alabama and then one in central Alabama. But everybody calls it right now for Roy Moore. I'm going to leave the live stream here on YouTube. But I did want to give you guys the details. We'll have more details over at speaker.com. Thank you guys very much. All right, so I wanted to... Okay, folks, I'm sorry about the technical difficulties here. Um, Now I don't hear the echo, and I kind of want to watch the uh, little deal on that and see what happened. But we are live here on speaker.com. I did want to see where exactly it went, um, but I did want to give you guys the details. So 117,729 people voted for Roy Moore, 88,341 voted for Luther Strange. It's 57.1 to 42.9 was the final score there. Not the final score, we only have 46 reporting, uh, but all the uh, news outlets are calling it for Roy Moore, who won... In kind of a surprising fashion, I'm I'm surprised that it went uh, that heavy. I did want to give you guys some details. Uh, people are also picking um, the girl from Kelly, um, the girl from Arizona, Kelly, um, the doctor, oh, Kelly Ward, uh, to beat Jeff Flake next year when uh, when they have their election for um, Senate. We'll see what happens there. Um, but a lot of people are saying that it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, Roy Moore has said a lot of terrible things. Um, one of, he did say that, um, Keith Ellison from Minnesota should not sit on Congress. Um, that was one of his, uh, posts back in 2006, uh, that he posted. Um, the Ten Commandments are on display tonight at the entrance of the watch party for Senator our Senate candidate Roy Moore um, so you definitely want to check that out um, he did ride uh, to the polls via horse and uh, and that was uh, pretty interesting now I'm not from Alabama I'm from Duluth Minnesota if you guys are listening to this for the first time thank you very much for listening to the Scott Show podcast This is the 435 Politics Show. We do uh, 102550, which is uh, something that I personally like to do. It's the 102550 Homeless Project. And, yeah. Um, What that is is we work on ending homelessness and poverty all across this great nation of ours. And Alabama is an important state in what we have. We're going to be visiting there next year in 2018. And we're going to be having lots of fun. Uh, but now I wanted to know who the senator was. And it looks like it's going to be either Roy Moore or Doug Jones. They will be facing off in December um, for the Senate seat formerly held by Jeff Sessions, who is now our Attorney General. So, folks, I wanted to thank you guys very much for coming on to the Scott Show. Like I said, all of our um, all the finances that we make here on the Scott Show. 
a go right to ending homelessness and poverty. We want to make sure no one sleeps outside at night. Um, I dislike that profusely. We want to make sure the soup kitchens are gladly taken care of. Everybody gets what they need in life. And nobody, you know, just make sure nobody's starving. And that's the most important thing. Uh, that is why we do what we do. We have great podcasts here. We have six uh, channels, soon to be eight. And that announcement will come out either tomorrow or the next day. Where we will have eight channels here on the Scott Show podcast. When you guys can check that out all day long. We're going to have a great time. Uh, like I said, Roy Moore has won uh, the election over Luther Strange right now. It's uh, 139,000, 106,000. Um, so it's still Roy Moore that wins. It's 53 reporting. Uh, but we'll see what happens, folks. I don't think you're going to see too much turnaround after that. The New York Times and most people have called it for Roy Moore. And he will move on in December to face Doug Jones in the next election. Uh, So you guys have a good night, and we'll catch you real soon. I will be having a lot of uh, stuff happening with the Scott Show podcast, lots of updates, and like I said, we'll catch you guys real soon. We're going to be doing one in December for this uh, election, and then I will tell you who the new senator from the great state of Alabama is. By the way, before I go, I do want to give a quick shout-out. to the now I can't find it of course you know because that's exactly how it works uh, but we did also have an election in Florida new Miami state senator I did not catch what her name was but it was a great thing and it was a Democrat she ended up winning uh, the election there um, so Democrats do win elections sometimes you know it just it does happen and we will catch more of that soon I'll have that on the Scott show wake up call tomorrow morning. 8 o'clock in the a.m., 7 o'clock for you people on Mountain Time, 6 o'clock in California, and of course it would be 9 o'clock Eastern Time. I know that's not really a wake-up call, but if you sleep in, it sure as heck is. So we're going to check you guys out real soon. Uh, Listen to the Scott Show, and you'll find out lots of information, including Roy Moore winning the election tonight against Luther Strange.